I'm Tom Hardy and you're watching the Venom vlog. My man here. Venom's not here today, man. Welcome, boils and ghouls, to the Carnage Vlog. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Summer of Carnage right here on the Venom Vlog. And today, there's going to be a brief, like, follow-up to yesterday's episode, episode 400, because uh, these images that came out, I was actually hoping uh, they would drop before I uploaded my video, and of course they dropped right at the time that I was uploading it. So I got through all the editing and everything like that because I wanted to include these uh, because obviously I couldn't show what we saw at the panel, but I was hoping at some point uh, you know, they would release these images to the public, and they did. They didn't waste any time. They sent them up on Monday or yesterday morning at like 9.30 a.m. on the Marvel HQ uh, YouTube channel, so I'll put a link to it down below if you want to check it out. It's just like a quick 20 one second video but it's going to show you some images and there's a couple other images I found on uh, Instagram from uh, one of our friends uh, Mick G Venom uh, MCG underscore Venom and I'll put a link to his uh, Instagram down below and Patrick Brown's artwork uh, who is the artist of these images uh, and that information thankfully came from Mick G uh, he you know posted these images or some of these versions and then a couple other characters that weren't shown uh, at, uh, at E3 so I'm not going to earn E3 <laughs> at D23 uh, but I'm not going to show those images because I don't know if those have been officially announced or anything, but uh, if you want to check them out, at least I know McG posted them on his account, so I'll send some love his way uh, since he was the one who posted them. Uh, but these images I will show. There's four images I have here. Um, the first one, and this again is from Maximum Venom. This will be coming up soon, and they showed off some of these are venomized heroes. So these are what some of the heroes are going to be looking like, and I love this image. This first image here is just like a, this collage of Spider-Man, and, and you get like a little glimpse of all the other characters, like uh, Captain Marvel and uh, and Spider Gwen, who we're not going to see here in this episode today, and Groot. Uh, but there are, you know, those some of those characters show up on McG's Instagram account. So uh, again, I'll put a link down below. So first up, we have Spidey. And Spidey looks awesome. Someone asked me, I think it was Karasi, was like, uh, why does he have uh, silver? Why is he silver? And uh, I, I jokingly was just like, I don't know, maybe a silver symbiote finds him. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. Uh, you know, I think uh, you know, to assume, obviously, all the symbiotes, there's going to be different color symbiotes. We might see, you know, other characters. They said we might see other characters. We've already seen Carnage and, uh, and you know, Venom. So we've already seen, or V252 or whatever, you know, it was called when it was on Earth as like the symbiote. Uh, but, uh, you know, we did see those uh, those characters already so that already established that there will be multicolor symbiotes which makes sense because that's kind of true to the comic book too so i'm guessing that maybe spider-man just gets you know a uh a silver symbiote possibly or they just wanted to do something different with the design you know they wanted to maybe bring out the eye color more which is black and white obviously what's surrounded by red but maybe they were like oh let's focus on that and invert the colors so he doesn't look like he always does because obviously we've seen spider-man with the black costume a thousand times and as cool as it is I'm sure they wanted to just change it up just a little bit, you know, which makes sense. Uh, you always want to try to bring something a little bit new to the table. So anyway, I like it. I think he looks actually really cool. Uh, but this one I thought was really, really cool, which is the Hulk. And I know a lot of people are just like, oh, it's Hulk with maybe like a green symbiote or something like that. But if you look in real closely, if you zoom in and, and look at his shoulders and his arms, there's little teeth and mouths on them. And what I loved about that is it it very much reminded me of Venom the Madness, where he just had all these little heads poking out of him and like, you know, chatting and, and, and uh, talking to him and stuff and uh, and feeding, you know, and eating and, and you know, craving for food. So uh, when I saw Hulk, I was like, oh, man, please tell me they're going to do like a Venom the Madness thing with him. <laughs> that would be so cool. Uh, his, his design looks great. And I love the little teeth coming off of him. Um, so yeah, in this little trailer, you saw Spider-Man, you saw Hulk there. Then they showed Iron Man, uh, which they were talking about the panel. Like Ben uh, Pronsky, I think, was like, uh, he's like, you know, what does an Iron Man, you know, symbiote look like? And obviously, some of us who read the comics, we've seen that, you know, like hinted at before and, and shown in like I think Venomized maybe had an Iron Man, uh, you know, and then also um, uh, Venom Bomb might have had like an Iron Man uh, possessed for a second by a symbiote. I can't remember. And then Carnage USA, obviously. So we've kind of seen you know that before, but it was cool to see it in in this animation style and this artwork by Patrick Brown which is fantastic. Uh, like I said I'll put a link to his Instagram down below so you can check out his other stuff too. Um, but yeah I like that image like where Tony's just or Iron Man's kind of floating there and the suit's like wrapping around him and the chest is glowing and stuff uh, it looks pretty neat. So obviously again they're trying to do new things here that's what they said at the panel like yes it, some of these elements might seem familiar to people who have read comics and, and other things uh, you know uh, to do something completely new would uh, you know would probably be deviate too much from uh, you know source material and, and the things that inspire them so of course they want to 
you know, tie in things that have been done in the comics, but also take it in a new direction. Because they talked about season two right now, uh, Superior Spider-Man season is going to end differently than the comic book ended. And, uh, and they talked a little bit about that and like, you know, how how that's going to be uh, without spoiling too much. But I was like, wow, that's that's awesome. Like, that's cool that they're going to, you know, zig instead of zag, you know, where, you know, it makes sense to zag because that's what the comics did. But they're going to actually try to do something new and, and, and evolve Ock in some way, which uh, which I think is cool. And, uh, you know, the comic books did do that, but eventually like all things in comics they have to go back to the way they were whereas in cartoons and animation and movies and stuff you can keep going forward because eventually it does have to end in some way so uh, i like that made me excited to see how they end superior spider-man season two um and then obviously we'll get season three next year with this and the last character we saw uh, was captain america that's the last character in this little sizzle reel that they put together and cap also looks amazing uh seeing cap uh with a venom suit is always heartbreaking for me because i'm such a cap fan uh like i don't really like Iron Man, I'm just like, eh, corrupt Iron Man, put a suit on him, I don't really care. Uh, but uh, but Cap, I'm like, oh no, like, you know, he's he's the, the Boy Scout, he's the one that, you know, we all root for co constantly, and the one Spider-Man looks up to, I know he looks up to Iron Man as well, but, you know, Cap sets such an example, so to corrupt that with a symbiote is going to be very interesting. And these are symbiotes who want to hurt the planet, who want to take over. These aren't symbiotes that could maybe be talked into, uh, you know, doing the right thing the way, like, uh, you know, Eddie Brock is maybe going to try to do with his suit or something uh that's what that was my theory that was my question at the panel was like you know are we going to see eddie brock struggle with this and they're like yeah we can't really explain that because it's spoilers obviously but i'm hoping that's the case you know i'm as an eddie brock fan i'm hoping that he's going to see this you know carnage that he unleashes on the planet and he's just like maybe this was a bad idea and maybe the suit will even agree with him uh maybe it's been you know with eddie enough to where it sees his point of view or something and he could change it uh and then who knows maybe cap can also overcome the the symbiote as well being the kind of guy he is so we'll see I, i'm excited for this uh but there are other characters spider gwen uh who is also known as gwenum i guess in the comics um and then also groot uh those characters were shown but not here at the panel so i don't want to share those images obviously um but uh, you know for those of you who want to see it i'll at least put a link to G's Venom account uh, down below on Instagram. So you can go there. And I think it was one of his recent posts, depending on when you watch. If you watch this video right away, you'll, you'll see it right away. But uh, it'll be one of his most recent posts. But otherwise, it's going to be marked like August 26, 2019, if you got to go back and look. Um, but uh, but by the if you're watching this later, you've probably seen the Spider Gwen and Groot thing already by now. Um, but yeah, so anyway, uh, so Mick G, big shout out to him for for um, letting me at least know the artist name who did this, which is Patrick Brown, at Patrick Brown Art. I'll put a link to that down below too. Go check it out, and I'll put a link to this video, this little 20-second video, if you guys want to watch it, if you haven't already seen it. I have been sharing it on social media, so you probably already did see it, uh, but let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you have a favorite of these four? Um, and if you end up seeing the Gwen one and Groot one, do you have a favorite of those? Uh, and then also, what other characters are you hoping they venomize? Because I'm sure a lot of us are excited for the non-venomized characters characters hopefully we'll see like scream and lasher and you know riot and agony and phage and all those uh and all those other characters but uh for now at least you know what do you think of this you know what do you think of the venomized heroes and which ones do you want to see because obviously i know a lot of us we talk about venomized the comic book and uh, edge of venom verse and we've seen venomized versions of characters uh but uh in this show universe which ones do you want to see in particular uh let me know down below and as always we'll continue our conversation down there Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, 401 episodes in the bag now. And we have another episode coming up next, 402, which focuses on the movie in an interview with uh, Robert Richardson, from, who's the new cinematographer of Venom 2. We're going to talk about a new interview he did with Collider, uh, where he reveals some very interesting stuff and confirms that uh, you know a certain actor is coming back to play a certain villain in the next movie. So I can't wait. We'll talk about it over there. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And we'll see you in the future. Peace.